All right, now, I want to quickly chop this up. So, when it comes to satellite technology, if you are aware of what's going on, when it comes to satellite broadcast technology, it's no different than Sirius XM radio. With normal radio, like for FM, for example, when you travel to a different city or jurisdiction, one channel will fade out and a new one will replace that old channel. You know, it is what it is. So when it comes to serious radio, any of them, I mean, it could be XL Hip Hop. Um, they have another one. I don't really know. I'm not going to get into it. But we all know that serious XM Radio is worldwide. You can go to California, Nevada. I mean, anywhere you want to go. And you can have it right there. The same stations and everything. All right. So, if you are standing in the middle of the woods, there have been times where I've noticed a Wi-Fi hotspot when there was no one else around. I'm talking about no one else around. And I wasn't even using my activated phone. I had a prepaid phone. So, it was just a phone I just bought for the heck of it. But I would notice random Wi-Fi hotspots. One of them was kind of dumb. It was called uh, <laughs> Cat Nectar. It, it, it just kind of caught me off guard. It was kind of funny. But I was in the middle of the woods, man. You're just hiking. This was like back in 2013. It was a while back ago. Could have been later than that because I thought it was like 2017. But when I think back, it was a long time ago when I noticed this. Back then, I didn't know what was going on. But as I said, this is a satellite Wi-Fi hotspot. And... Generally speaking, your targeters can backdoor into your Wi-Fi and even hack into your devices using this broadcast technology. Now, with your cell phone, it may be a little bit more difficult because your cell phone relies on a network. And usually, a lot of cell phones will drop the connection if it is not the right network. Like, for example, you use Verizon and a Stingray phone tracker tries to, you know, connect to your phone a lot of times it will drop the connection and that will be pretty uh that are going to be some pretty obvious stuff if it does happen um if you go to a website like youtube which is h h well, i'm telling you youtube think about this https secure socket layers this basically encrypts <laughs> i'm telling you this basically encrypts all of your data but if a Stingray phone tracker is trying to establish a connection with your phone, a lot of times HTTPS will not work properly and you will get a warning, much like the one I'm showing you right now. Let me just keep going. Now, with your cell phone, you can do a My IP check. You can check to you know, basically verify which network you are on and your IP address. And we know we all know what the IP address is, okay? It's basically your internet protocol address. So you can do a my IP check. You can use um what's my IP. That one's pretty good. But normally your IP address will not for example, if your IP address is coming from DC the direct or the how can i explain it i'm trying to break it down the exact location is not going to be right for example your ip address uh could show you that you are you know <laughs> it, it could give you just a random area out in the middle of nowhere but Typically speaking, your IP address is coming from a network provider in that area because I have I've had a lot of people be like, oh, well, yo, my IP address is coming from this random house. So I don't know. Well, typically, um, your IP address location will not be a hundred percent accurate, but will be close. Okay, like it would tell you which um, city your IP address is in or coming from. But when it comes to Wi-Fi, your phone or a computer could easily 
be hacked through port forwarding. It could be hacked through a download. Or if the hacker is smart enough and they are using broadcast technology, they can even set up a port forward and they can trick your computer into downloading very, very nasty software. So log into your router and just check everything. Check um, all of your connected devices. Um, check your DNS and just go through it and, you know, you just check through it and, and make sure everything is correct. Your Wi-Fi's DNS should be that of your ISP, whether you are with Comcast, um, CenturyLink, I mean, any of them, that's quite a few. But just check for the accurate DNS in your area. Now, when it comes to a cell phone being hacked, okay, yeah, they could track your phone through, uh, you know, some kind of fusion center or whatever. But typically, if a person really, really wants to track your every move and watch and intercept everything that you do, they will always um, use a Trojan. Even if the government did want to track your phone. If they are not tracking your phone through a Trojan, then that is not a lot they can really get but your location. And it may not even be that accurate. Because cell phones can drop. Um, <laughs> you know, um, um, they can drop that network and then they they end up connecting, connecting to another one. I'm just saying because your cell phone will go through various cell towers throughout your area. So it's not really a good... It's not really a good means of tracking the person. But if they really wanted to track you well, they could basically have full remote access to your device. Okay, they have to have full remote access to your device in order for them to clone it. And once they do clone it, you could have a hundred different people on your device at one time. Which is why... It is very smart to do a hard reset if you think that your device has been ratted. Now, we ain't talking about government tracking. We are talking about remote access Trojans, okay? This is what we are talking about right now. They backdoor into your device. They can install um, software. Um, they can install programs. <laughs> they have full access to your phone. So your text messages and your videos and everything are all ours. They can even remotely control your device because they have full remote access to it. This is why I talk about Trojans. Y'all talk about government tracking. I'm talking about Trojans. The government could track your phone all day. But when it comes to a Trojan, people have full access to your phone. If you put in a um, location in your GPS, they don't need to um, track it. Okay, They know exactly where you are going. They can see it just like you can see it. I'm talking about full remote access to your device. And then they can clone it, okay? And once they clone it, you could have a 100 different people on your device at one time. And you wonder why you have all of these individuals all around you. And it's like they know your every text. They know your every uh, <laughs> your emails. It, your bank account is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous, okay? Very dangerous, and once they clone it, your device will be on a, basically a virtual, well, how can I call it? Yeah, a virtual server. I'm trying to think of the, the exact name. And once this does happen, the people in your phone can delete files. They can delete photos. They can delete videos. They can add programs. They can install pro. I mean, I'm just saying they can do it all. They have... The same exact access to your phone as you do. No different than neural monitoring. The way that these people can see what you see. Okay, it's no different. So, they can backdoor into your router using broadcast technology. Which is why I don't encourage a lot of you to use Wi-Fi. Especially if you are not, you know, if you are not really down with, with how routers work and modems work and you just don't know a whole lot about it i wouldn't advise you to use wi-fi if you can help it because with your phone's network like on verizon sprint this would be harder for them to infiltrate 
okay? Because your phone has to establish a connection with your network provider. And a lot of times, if they try to do this, then your connection would automatically drop. Cell phones are smart. Don't get it twisted. Cell phones are very smart. So, to sum everything up as a whole, just um, be careful and check your DNS settings. With your phone, you can do a My IP check. And there are various um, programs out there where you can scan for a virus. And they are pretty, they work pretty well. With your phone, you know, it would be a lot harder for somebody to really backdoor into it and you not know what's going on because, you know, they can type in stuff and you may even notice programs that should not be there. But when we talk about Windows computers, Windows computers, they have registries. I mean, <laughs> there'd be no way you could find a well-hidden Trojan, okay? It would be a lot easier for these people to backdoor into a computer and you not know as opposed to a phone but with a lot of older people you know either way so just be careful man and you know use um antivirus software but yeah that's pretty much it man i just wanted to um put out a quick video on how you can protect yourself online and like any other uh video piece feel free to download emf detector there are some um, anti-spyware programs I've put in the link below if you want to just make sure your phone is all good.